How's it going YTBC? Thomas the Austrian Piper here. And this one is the promised video about my new humidor which I got recently. First off some housekeeping. I'm smoking my Peterson Silver Cap number no. 6 with some Dunhill Derba inside of it. And this is already the second attempt on this video. Because the first one I had some audio problems. The camera stopped recording or freezed in the middle of recording. And well, I could salvage the video, but I wasn't happy with the outcome. There would be a weird cut in the audio right in the middle of the video and so on. And I didn't want to bother with it, so I will try. To film it a second time, so let's see how it turns out. If this one doesn't end good, I will just try to use the first one. Anyway, recently I bought this nice humidor. It's 50 centimeters high, so half a meter, 30 centimeters deep, and 30 centimeters wide. If you want to know how many inches there are, do the conversion by yourself. It's time, well, inches times 2.54, so divide the centimeters by 2.54, you should get out the inches. Let's see if I can keep this pipe lit during this video. I bought this humidor for 50 euros, which isn't a lot, trust me. For a humidor with this build quality and this size, it's really cheap. It has cedar shelves inside of it, seven, or shelves, I should call them drawers, so seven drawers in total. I have currently four inside, the three others are sitting here on the side besides the humidor because I have no other ways to keep them currently and for video purposes of course and that's not all the man I bought it from well it's not easy to talk about it but he had some health problems and had to quit smoking and drinking and many other things and he didn't want to keep looking at it because he really loved smoking cigars. He was just 40 years and got this humidor for his 30th birthday, so 10 years ago. He told me it wasn't a cheap one, which I can definitely understand because the build quality of everything, it's solid wood. And how it's done, everything is really good. So I'll, I will trust his words. He gave me a few freebies with it as well, which I was quite surprised, didn't expect that. But he said, you know what, I'm just happy that someone picked it up that knows a thing or two about cigars and loves the hobby as much as I did when I was able to smoke. So he just threw them in, well originally the it was just 50 years for the humidor but like I said, freebies, he can't use anymore. The first one being a nice little cigar cutter for smaller ring gauges, acrylic on, on the outside. The blades are decently sharp, are pretty sharp actually, I'm surprised. So, not bad. I already have a few cigar cutters. You have seen the solid metal one I have. The new one I got from Excalibur City when I picked up my cigars then a punch and so on so this one will probably go to my best friend I don't know if he has a cutter yet <laughs> I usually if we are smoking cigars at his place I usually either use a kitchen knife or my punch from my lighter to cut the cigars sorry I think I bumped the microphone just now. Hope it wasn't too noisy or loud. Anyway, use the kitchen knife or whatever was available 
fingernails and so on so not the optimal way to cut it so I'll give it I'll gift it to him maybe he will use it or at least I hope he will use it the next one is this lighter he said it's a jet frame but it isn't a jet frame it's a soft flame lighter with a telescopic bit at the top doesn't give a huge flame but it's actually perfect for lighting a pipe which I will have to relight mine now nice solid build quality full metal and I can't complain about it the other freebie the third freebie I got you will see inside the humidor just a little bit I have already talked about the dimensions of it full cedar um, drawers so I'll take one of those so it can take a look at it we have some slots at the bottom for ventilation this little um, compartment here at the back is where those humidifiers would be sitting so it would sit right inside here just as, a, as far as I can see some green gardening foam inside of it so not the best quality but there were seven pieces of those in total so one for each drawer I have taken out most of them and the ones that are inside are dry because of how well maybe they will suck up some moisture <laughs> because currently we have too much humidity in my area for example the humidor is sitting at 74.1% humidity which is way too high at least for my taste but the problem is the room humidity isn't any lower I'm afraid it is even higher so 75-76 percent and the only thing I can do about it is probably put a 300 gram bovida bag inside of this thing or smaller ones but I think I go with a 300 gram one just to be safe I've said it in my previous attempt at filming this video as well and it seems the camera doesn't want to focus once again there we go I should have picked a better place for putting this thing for filming purposes because if I open it up I will get the door right inside my face and if you excuse me for a second, I think I will try to deactivate the face following because it's not working. So, back again. Turn off face following and the automatic focusing just doesn't work good on this camera. Anyway, we left off. Um, yep. Yeah should have picked a better place because if I open it up I will get the door right inside my face glass panel, a true glass panel with bevels on the edge so quality metal appliances throughout the whole thing the hinges are solid they go right up from here down to here Really good quality, none of them are broken, they close up perfectly. The only problem with this humidor is the magnets, which are sitting here in the door and on the frame on the side. One of them came loose, so it didn't really stick well. And so I have to re glue them, but it's not a biggie, it's no problem at all. Easily fixable. Let's put the door right behind me. Try to focus the camera once again on my face, hopefully. So now we're inside the humidor. We'll go from bottom to the top on the bottom shelf. 
we have my Cigaro Aces Plus 3.0 with the ribbon cable running on the side. Outside it's a nice black ribbon cable, it's out of sight that way. Fits perfectly through the hinges or below the hinges and doesn't compromise the seal whatsoever, which is great. Then we have a few cigars on the bottom, for example, the Romacraft Chromagnum, Chrom my Rocky Patel 20th anniversary. Then we have a Joya Nicaragua Antonio, and this little saga here, which I got from my best friend's stepfather, which is a Kraken. Yeah, Kraken cigars. Fanatico 7x70, so a big sucker. He gave it to me just as a, well, as a little gag. He said, if you want to get some attention smoking this one somewhere, you will definitely get it. And yeah, just throw it in for me, or just gave it to me as a present for no particular reason. I left one out for the space for the cigar oasis and other cigars so I can take a look at the humidity all the time as well as the room temperature which we are currently at 25 degrees Celsius so it's too hot as well. The next shelf up we have my Alec Bradley Black Market cigars. Uh, this box alone takes up the whole space of this shelf. I'm a fan of keeping boxes, but I will probably have to get rid of the box and just put the cigars in next month or the month after if I pick up more cigars, because they take up way too much space inside this humidor. And I don't want to buy a bigger humidor, <laughs> at least for now. Sorry. Had a few beers before. Don't want to get a bigger humidor because, well, they are costly. They're really expensive, bigger humidors. And I'm happy I got this one for so cheap. On the third shelf from the bottom, I've just put my cigarillos or mini cigars. We have the Cohiba Club 20, the Trinidad Shorts, Monte Cristo Club. And then we have the Rocky Patel Edge and the Hoya Black. The Hoya Black is pretty much the same height as the shelf, so we can't really see it. It ends right here. And, well, both of these cigars have smaller boxes, so I could just fit them on top of each other. So, like I said, there we have the Rock Capital D Edge, aged five years, Robustos, Connecticut, the Hoya Black, and my cigarillos on this one. And on the top shelf, we have a hygrometer at the front. Maybe I will focus the camera a little, on the, a little bit on the humidor. If it can do that. Yeah, there we go. There's a hygrometer in the front, which, well, it shows a little bit of, so 71, 72% humidity, and we are sitting at 74.8, so my room temp, my room humidity is higher than the humidity in my humidor which annoys the hell out of me, but there's nothing I can do, like I said, at least not about the room humidity. But the accuracy is somewhat okay. For a quick glance, it does the job. Anyway, on the top shelf, we have all my other more premium cigars, which I've showed in my previous video. So. A tour of went the Hemingway, the Rock Battle Decada, Decades, Rock Battle 50th anniversary, 15th anniversary, Leaf by Oscar, Olivia Series V, Melanio, Petomo Estate Collection, and now we come to the other three B, three B's which I got, which were two Afro Uvisian. I don't know how to pronounce it. Well, 
at least I hope the camera will focus on it. Yeah, there we go. Our Eurasian Synchro Icarago Toro size. Yeah, box pressed in tubes. And the tube alone is pretty beefy. Yep. Well, if I can get it open, yeah, there we go. The box is pretty beefy already. So def it will definitely keep the cigar safe. And I will probably reuse it for transporting my other cigars. Then here we have the cigar, a nice box press Toro. Never had um, a cigar like this before. Or none of this brand and he had a wish for me if I really want to be thankful for the cigars I got and everything for this price so as a freebie if I would be so kind to share them with my best friend or another good friend that smokes cigars which I'm lucky because my best friend also smokes cigars sometimes so I will definitely share, share these with him have a nice conversation, drink a little bit of whiskey or gin, because he's a gin lover. And I just think it's really what it was really nice of the man that sold me the humidor that his only wish, if I want to not just pay it but do him a favor, is to share a smoke with someone close to me or someone that I enjoy smoking with because he can't do this anymore, so he wanted me to do it. And there's no greater pleasure for me than that. Trust me, guys. I've put, like I said, these cheap as humidification devices in a few slots in between in the hope that it might absorb some moisture. Didn't really work out the way I planned it, but there's nothing I can do. Like I said before, it has slots on the bottom for keeping the humidity the same all around the humidor. And putting it in from the side with a single hand isn't as easy as it may look because I don't know where the shelving is. Okay, there we go. And because I can't put it in straight either. God damn it. <laughs> there we go. Finally in. So that's pretty much the humidor. I wasn't so sure about the color at first. And I will try to focus on my face again. I wasn't so sure about the color at first because, well, it's pretty bright and the rest of the room is more on the darker side. But now in person, I'm quite pleased, I must say. It looks really fantastic. Everything is really well made, in my opinion. And I can't complain, especially for that price. Like I said, my guess would be this humidor new was probably around 300 euros. You guys can't really feel it or pick it up, but it's a solid quality humidor. With real glass, solid wood, see the lining on the inside, well, just here on the door and the shelves. But all in all, I'm quite pleased with this one. So we'll close it back up. I don't want to keep you annoying. It's the, re the video is already long enough. I hope you enjoyed, the enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope you liked the humidor. And well, thank you for watching. Take care guys, happy smoking and I hopefully see you in another video. Bye.